Well, there is one very noticeable guest missing from this party. Hmm, we wonder why. Oh, there she is. You know, I saved a piece of cake for you. Oh, where's the birthday boy? I was hoping he would show me around before I take him to lunch. Mr. Bakshi doesn't eat lunch. He says lunch is for losers. Uh-oh. He's not watching his calories again, is he? You know, he's always been insecure about his weight. Really? Mm. He is not insecure about anything. He's just too busy to focus on lunch or anything else besides work. He doesn't look busy. <laughs> it's okay, maybe this was a bad idea. No, you planned a special day for your brother because you know your brother likes- All right, he doesn't have any cake for us, but he's got all the deets on this season of Mythic Quest. Please welcome actor Parvez China to the show. <laughs> Hey, friends. Hi, hi. Hi. So the birthday boy might not look busy, but you are one busy man. Because you're, you're on set right now, aren't you? Oh, what? Am I in my trailer? Oh, no, I didn't plan this at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm working in Georgia on a Disney Plus kids show, but I'm so happy to talk to you, and I miss New York so much. Oh, we, well, we would say we miss you, but there's so many places we can see you. It's like you're all over the place. And before we get to the new season of Mythic Quest, we have to say that you are our CW family member because you were on one of our favorite shows, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, and everyone right. on that it, show you had to have multiple talents. So here we go. Oh, yeah, I'm very impressed. I'm very scared of Donna Lynn. Donna Lynn I saw on Broadway in Sweeney Todd years ago, and then to share scenes with her, was, it just blew my mind. You you are just blowing our minds, whether it's animated movies you're doing or animated series or like shows like Mythic Quest, which by the way, people are comparing to The Office. Have you heard that comparison? Yeah, it's a workplace comedy and Danny Pudi is my best friend in the world. Like we grew up, we know each other from Chicago, improv theater. He stayed on my couch when he first moved to LA and we get to play brothers on Mythic Quest this season. Oh, he stayed on your couch. So um, y your couch is available now that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I also get 10% of whoever gets to stay on my couch from the work that they do in the uh -oh. future. Oh, well, th okay, then that I don't qualify them because there's nothing I do. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want 10% of anything I do, just so you know. And I, and I did mention the animated series that you, actually two animated series that you lend your voice to. Mira Royal Detective. I know I know Leela's mom. I know Kavi. Kavi. Yeah. Of course, New York, hello. Everyone knows each other, but yeah, Covey and Leela is, she's gonna be a star. She's gonna be the next like Miley Cyrus, Ariana Grande, I do believe. And I saw because Covey and Sendel Ramamurthy, they did the play here in New York and they were both here together. That was the first time I met her. And then you're also uh, playing a stork on another pretty cool show. Yeah, it's Tots on Disney. The, the Mouse House has been very good to me. Clearly, because that's and, what you're working for again now. Yeah, I'm on a Disney Plus show right now. And yeah, Bodhi, the big stork. I mean, especially for an actor of color, we are over the moon to play so much in animation right now. Like, I play birds. I play Indian characters. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's a gift because I love you know, just doing stuff for children. It's, I mean, like, that your friends, kids can watch. They're like, Parvesh, uncle, we saw you, or we heard you. And I'm like, yeah, that's See? me. I'm a big teddy bear for children. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a big teddy, you're for, you're for everyone. Mr. Parvesh China is for everyone. And by the way, let me tell you how, like, connected I feel to you, because I feel like our cultures are very similar, because I'm Nigerian. I was born and raised in Nigeria. And, uh -huh. like, the whole, like, there are a lot of Indians who live in Nigeria, too. Growing up, I had some Indian classmates. And the Bollywood and the Nollywood uh, industry. Nollywood are yeah. pretty much the same thing. So so I, in my head, I feel like, you know, Nigerian parents, if you're not a doctor or a lawyer or uh, an engineer, it's like, what? What are you doing? So what was it like for you you're telling your parents that, yeah, I'm going to go do improv, I'm going to go act? Oh, I lied. Ooh. I full-on lied and said that I was going to major in acting and a double major in psychology. I took one psychology class. But then as soon as I started paying my rent, like my, my first job was the movie Barbershop when I was still in college, oh, yeah. then they left me alone. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That is, that is. Insane. And then I played a doctor on ER. That was my first TV appearance. So then they were like, I was like, see mom, they I play like, a doctor on TV. They're like, he's made it. And see, things have changed now, especially with, with, with our culture. So parents don't worry about yeah. like whether or not you're a doctor or a nurse or anything. So it's just incredible to see. And I was telling them earlier when I was talking about you, you weren't here mm -hmm. yet. You weren't hanging through your window yet. And I said to them, right. he has something in common with Sia. No, is it the high notes? Maybe. 
Very similar. <laughs> I know it was actually with Tracy Ellis Ross, oh. but Sia, I did do Sia's film and, you know, just like one day, a quick scene, but she sang the entire time, like e e between every setup. And I just remembered like, I'm getting a free concert for Sia. That's and, what I, you know, I, I didn't talk to her too much because I just wanted to hear her sing. Really? No, I meant, do you, do yeah. you have her high notes? I know high note was with Tracy Ellis Ross, Sia's with music. So I meant, do you swing from a chandelier? Look where my mind goes. <laughs> I know it's fine, but it's because you do so much. You're like, oh no, that's another job. That's a different job. It Stop. really was. It's the name of another movie. That's I'm like, oh, good reference. Uh -huh. Good segue. <laughs> so how have you been connecting? Because I know you did the show Connected I, because of the pandemic. So how have you been connecting? Yeah. Aside from the show, how have you been staying in touch with your family and friends? I know you're supposed to be coming to New York soon, hopefully, after you're done in Georgia. So how have you been yeah. staying with, keeping in touch? I am a big introvert. I'm a big video game guy, nerd. My partner and I, Eric, we play Dungeons and Dragons every Sunday on online with friends across the nation. So I honestly have felt very connected with people. But now I'm, you know, I'm fully vaccinated. I hope everyone gets fully vaccinated. And I just can't wait to see friends and hug them. And, and it is about theater. When I think of New York, I don't eat out. I mean, I, I'll grab like a <laughs> like a tuna salad sandwich at a convenience store because I'm, it's all about I need to see as many shows as I can in a weekend. All right, well, we can miss that live experience. You. you need to come. You need to come by. And then now I changed my mind about your couch. I'm an introvert too, so maybe I'm going to take your couch. I'll take your couch. Do see? you guys want to? Do you guys want to go hang out on his couch? I have a feeling it's yes. a big couch. <laughs> Yeah. The yeah. length of your IMDb page tells me it's a huge couch, so we can all fit. Yes. yes. And given our futures, he will make maybe 10 cents off of all of us. <laughs> Thank you. But can we ask you your thoughts? You, you know, I know you were watching. What did you think of that boat? Was it? Did you think it was a big boat? <laughs> I have been to Long Beach, which is that big port yeah. on the other yeah. side, mm -hmm. and I'm like, that's where I thought for a moment, like, oh, Katie's in, Katie's in Long Beach. Oh, I miss California. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> you guys were yeah. so mean to Katie. Nope. Poor <laughs> Katie. She just wants that vanilla extract, guys. <laughs> <Let her laughs> that's what he said earlier <laughs> when we came on. And, and by the way, um, on. Mr. Chino, before we forget, I want to let everyone know that new episodes of Mythic Quest streams on Fridays on Apple TV+. Plus. Just so you know, so yeah. they don't, they don't, I'm sure they already know, but in case you were trying to take notes, that's, that's what day you have to check for it. Yep. So thank you, sir. Such a pleasure. Come back to New York soon. Thank you, soon. friends. You're a delight. See you on the couch. So mm. lovely.